Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 011, Arithmetic, Section 3.3, Problem 16. This is Section 3.3, Problem 16. It says 60 minus 14.341. Now, the problem with this is it's not really lined up. If you're going to use a calculator, it doesn't matter how you line it up. But by hand, the decimals have to line up. Now the 60 doesn't have a decimal written, but it's assumed to be at the end of the 60. So one decimal is over here, and the other decimal is not directly beneath it. So what we want to do is rewrite this so that it's 60 minus 14.341, like that. Now put the decimal after the 60. Now I can stop my subtraction, but to subtract there's nothing really written after the 60, so you just fill in zeros. I have three digits under it, so I just put in three zeros, and now I can start subtracting. Now as you subtract, you have zero minus one. The zero's not big enough, we have to borrow. But now the next position to the left is also a zero. This is a problem, we have to go all the way, to, as far to the left as we have to go until we get a non-zero digit, which would be the six. So let's borrow from the 6. We're going to cross off that 6, make it a 5, which can make the next 0 into a 10. We're going to borrow from that right away, make that a 9, which makes the next 0 over a 10. Borrow from that, which makes it a 9, which makes the next 0 over a 10. Borrow from that, that becomes a 9. And now, finally, the rightmost digit is a 10. Now we can start subtracting. So we have 10 minus 1 in the far right column, that's 9. Next column, 9 minus 4, that's 5. The next column over is 9 minus 3, which is 6. Then after that, we have the decimal, which comes straight down into our answer. Then we have 9 minus 4, which is 5. And then we have 5 minus 1, which is 4. So our answer is 45.659.